here we're ready sorry that took me a little longer than normal i had to finish shoving food in my face and then lamia decided that now is the time to want to be pet and picked up and paid attention to so we got a kitten with us oh hiccups <clears throat> excuse me um we got a cat hanging out with us for a little bit while she just accepts that i'm here and that i'm holding her right lamia are we very happy and content at the moment? I think so. Hi. <laughs> um, Allie, thank you for the contribution to the gummy hunt. I totally understand having to be lurky, but like I said, it's nice to just hear from you. <laughs> um, hope every everything's going well for you and anyone who's other or other people who are lurking. Um, okay, bye. Do you want to lean in your box? Lean down in your box. Here. Come on. No, you just hopped out of my lap. <laughs> I'm not going to pick you back up. Travis, thank you for the contribution as well to the gummy hunt. Um, mommy is going to be weird, and I'm sorry if you hear her yelling at me <laughs> in a minute or two. Um, it is Indie Friday. But we're doing something, I mean, it's the same stuff that we normally do. However, it's all put together for me. I don't have to do jack shit, which is great. Um, the Dread X Collection, the fifth one, just came out today. Um, hours ago, actually. And we're going to play that today. Bunch of cool indie horror games on it. I'm very excited. A lot of uh, devs that I haven't seen in the previous collections, which is also incredibly exciting. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm stoked for it. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed the previous Dread X collections. Um, and so to be able to pick up the new one on the day that it came out and play it is very exciting for me. Um, but yeah. Just gonna continue on the tradition of us checking out their weird, weird horror games and then making references to it at all times. Like, like Corpse Wife. We love Squirrel Stapler here. Um, trying to think if there's anything that I have to say. It's actually cool today, which is great <laughs> because I have been overheating for the last two weeks. Hi, Fruity. <laughs> Um, I actually, like, got to open up all the windows today and, like, wear real clothes as opposed to just, like, booty shorts and a tank top. So that was exciting for me. Um, and I could turn my fans off for a little bit. That was great! I got a lot of cleaning done today, which was really nice. I haven't been able to over the last couple of days just because it's been so hot. Um... But no, it's a good temperature. The air is not hose, so we are bothering. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I did mention it last time I streamed, but just reminding people, um, if you have one or you want to check mine out, Throne now has a crowdfunding option. Um, I think that's what, yeah. I was like, I think that's what my command is. I do have a couple things on my wish list that I've set up for crowdfunding. Um, which is kind of exciting. You don't have to pay for a whole dang gift anymore. You can just pay a little bit of money and help me get things. Um, I only point that out because I know it's going to get hot again in, a in like, this next week. <laughs> and I do have a big fan on there. That would be very lovely. But no pressure or anything like that. I'm mostly just excited that Throne has this crowdfunding option. Um, so if you have your own Throne wishlist and didn't know about it, now you do. Just saying. Um, all that aside, I think I'm ready to start this dang game. So, like, let's, like, let's, like, do the thing. Um, hopefully... Sound is fine. I messed with it a little bit ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll do story mode. Excuse me. 
Gonna turn that down just a smidge. Just a touch. Strangle Maws Hunt! What is this? Mouse click, turn page, right? To look at or put away the comic? This is a bad magazine! It's just question marks! Great! Why is it telling me- Outpost 3000, the place where your party is out of this world. That scared me. Where do we have subtitles? Do we have subtitles? We do not. So that's a little upsetting. The Galactic Goober Band? I love these guys! Error. Hi, Devo. Please assemble band for musical performance. Hi, Devo. Yeah. Um. Yeah, game just came out today. Just a couple hours ago, and it is on sale. It's like a dollar or so off. It's like $10 normally, so it's like $8.99 right now. And Dread X is super cool. I like, I like this group. They're awesome. Um, do I have a flashlight? No. Door second won't budge! <gasps> I can't read this. Only babies are afraid of the strangle, Ma! The drummer does need a head. This is accurate. Maybe we'll find it. Howdy. Just take this back to my birthday table to open it. Are we celebrating? Pepper's bones. Um, we celebrate. This is sad. <laughs> if this is, hopefully, we're just waiting for everyone to show up. We're here super early, and everyone's gonna show up eventually. Oh God, I can lean. We're just eating it. <gasps> oh! Do I unlock it with the... The comic book pages? Okay, before we do that, we've got... Games that we've got are Resver by Color Fiction. Ludo Malica by I. Williams. Beyond the Curtain by Matt Reeves. Interim by Phantom Sloth Games. Hun's Vadi by Rup Taminen. I'm probably saying that name incorrectly and I apologize. <laughs> Gallery by Shackles. Book of Blood by Darkstone Digital. Carow by Strogoscop. Rotten Stigma by Visceral Error. Spirit Guardian by Nick F. We Never Left by Fire Games. I think I know this dev team. Philip Hasselback doing Vestige. I think I recognize him too. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. Kind of want to look around before we like dive into the games. Um, I did mention last time that uh, Indie Fridays are probably going to be about like two and a half hours instead of three hours. Given that Dread X has 12 games in it, I think I'm just gonna play until I don't want to anymore. <laughs> so this might be a slightly longer stream than normal. Um, but I don't think anyone's gonna complain about that. Sip. The, what does that say? The slime hole out of this world drinks. I would like to go to the slime hole, please. <laughs> Give me in there. Well, Fruity, that's just what I expect from you, though. So that's fine. You complain. You complain all you want. This is fine. Barricade won't budge. You could. You could sneak through there. You could slip through there. <gasps> that. That is understandable and okay. Welcome in, Jesse. We've only just started. Don't worry about it. Um, I hope 
the wasp situation has been handled. P is power! Hold it in! I can't agree with that at all. <laughs> P is power! Um, but yeah, welcome in, friend. How's it going? How's everyone doing tonight? Za! Give me a slice of that za! Slurp! Slurp. The airlock ball pit. I want to go into literally any of these places, but I think I have to... I think I have to do a game. I think I have to start one of the games, which is fine. That's not great. Hey, that's not, that's not great. Have you considered having fewer wasps in the fixtures? Can I? Bees? Bees? Okay, I guess we'll start. Um, The first one was, Oh, was this one. This is what it started on. Should we just, like, go in order? Um. <laughs> you should consider it even harder. Yeah, let's just start with the first one. So, Hans Vadi, Finland, 1888. Locals are celebrating Johannes, a nightless night in midsummer, said to hold magical power. A ritual must be completed. Let's go! Trying to make sure that this is the game capture. Do you wanna capture game? No, no, you don't. Display capture? This maybe? Let's do this? Yeah, let's do that. Let me make sure my cursor isn't being captured though. Uh, farmhouse across the nations, prepping for this, considering to be a magical night. Many young folk participate. One of these games was called the... Hansvati. Oh no! Please don't get wasp... Don't get wasp uh, poison in your burrito. That's bad. Okay, options. Controls. Uh, this is fine. Audio? How incredibly loud is this? This is fine. Go back. Start game. Was it a Star Wars opening? It wasn't going towards the center of the screen. I know it's hard, but you can't stay inside all day. You hear nothing? Genuinely, it's showing that you can hear. What happened last year was your own fault anyway. You can't keep blaming the others. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just play nice with them. Don't give them an excuse. Uh, why don't you try that thing I told you about? Seven flowers down the well? I know you don't believe in these things, but that's how I met your mother. Damn! If she was still alive to see what kind of coward you've become, can't even imagine how hurt she would be. Jesus. Now get out. I don't need you to remind me what you took from me. Wow! Dad's kind of a shithead. <laughs> I don't think we like Dad trying to make sure I'm not, like, rolling over a cat. That's incredibly bright and very loud. <laughs> this is my jump. <laughs> also, what is this thwacking sound I hear? <gasps> Drop seven flowers into the well and you will see the reflection of your future love. Though anyone loving you here seems impossible. Maybe. I like this music. Hello? Can I? 
Village Harvest Barley. They say it is the most important crop since beer is brewed from, brewn from it. Brewed? No field work is allowed during Johannes, so you better stay out of the fields. Hi, Llama. Can you lay in your box, baby? What are those? Oh, they're like discs or something. Okay. Why are they hitting this child? <laughs> this is where the thwacking sound was coming from. Their faces, though! Okay, hold on. I am gonna turn this down just a little bit. That's a little too much. Is that... That looks better. I think this buddy likes that. Oh! What are you doing? Your love is already waiting in the barn. Did she just push me? Why is everyone mean? <laughs> um... What? Is that me getting tired? <laughs> Look at this. The little Pasca thinks there is love for it. Oh. Oh. Everyone needs to not be mean to me. <laughs> can I take this one? No, I can only do one at a time. <laughs> Whoa! This pathetic no amount of flowers will make anyone love you. Can we not push me? Please? Also, I love- I loved the movie Midsommar. <laughs> Good movie. Oh, this is horrible. I'm gonna die! Where's the well? There it is. Dots. Um... I have to go back through these goobers. I think I'm already kind of fucked up <laughs> by getting pushed as much as I I have. It's fine, I'm sure. Let's just let's pick this up. This is your mother's grave. She died giving birth to you. You know this uh, because your father likes to remind you of it every day. It also seems somebody defecated on the gravestone as usual. <laughs> So we're gonna, like, do a murder on everyone, right? Like... <clears throat> that's what we're doing, right? Villagers always make sure their scarecrows have black hair. They say those born with black hair are from a bad seed. Do we... do we have black hair? Ugh! Oopsies. Don't you know we all hate you? I just want to get over to the well, buddy! You? Yumalauta! That costume is even better than last year. <laughs> Can't wait to see how the little Pasca reacts. It's mommy time! I am uncomfortable. <laughs> Finland, a land of stoic people where every man and woman fends for themselves. Children learn from a young age to never show their true feelings. Being different means to be shunned. You had to learn it the hard way. Sad. <laughs> Sorry, the noises he makes when I try to jump. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to, I just want to get through here. That's all. Most popular Johannes tradition is getting immensely drunk. This village brews its own beer, so it is never in short supply. For instance, your father has been drinking every day since you were born. So you when you try to jump, eh, 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 eh. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe don't jump. Sounds like a bad deal. What? No field work on Johannes. Okay, that's fine. What is that? Oh, oh, why are you coming for me? Why I'm not in the field? Sir! What happens if I get got? I like his little flower eyes! And the flowers on his horns? No field work, only fun! Not a grimace. Oh, I've now spawned two of them. Okay, I guess I just won't stop moving. Ever. <laughs> I think I've done this bad. Statue is a tribute to Mustayako, who founded this village in the year 1666. He defended Finland from invading Viking forces with help from gods themselves. Some stories say he was severely depressed and suffered from psychotic episodes. What was that? Is that... Is that mother time? I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is horrible. They've, they've forgotten what it means Excuse to be true. Mommy? Sorry, mommy? Sorry, mommy? Sorry. <laughs> Forgot we had that sound command. Oh no. Ten little piglets roasted for the Johannes feast. It couldn't have been more than a couple of weeks old before being slaughtered. Okay. Okay. We got some good sound commands. Kids are drinking on the roof so the adults don't notice. Get the feeling they are planning something. What is that? Yeah. Why is she scary? Hey, everybody! I see one of us is in a Johannes mood. You all know what to do. Get the Hunsvani! Is it me? Everyone's spooky! <laughs> no! Stop! Stop pushing me! What is that?! Why is there an account? Oh, no. <laughs> I am. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I don't like what's going on. <laughs> I just need three more, right? <laughs> I can feel it inside you. The true meaning. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my fan off because it is too cold for it. Look at Lamia. Hi, baby. Like a kitten. Okay. Um. <gasps> Jesse, thank you for the contribution to the gummy hunt. How do I get there? Can I go through the field now? I'm very excited to do a gummy hunt. It's gonna be great. Can I... I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do that, but I've done it. Oh, jeez. Fruity, thank you for the contribution as well. Okay, there's another flower over here. There's too many people! I think I've died. Hunsvati is such a slob! He will be sleeping with the hog! Oh, 
There's no way for me to get around that, is there? Pig, please! Did that pig just milk me? <laughs> okay, let's not do this terribly this time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, now I know I can get pushed. <laughs> it's not great. I hear Finland is wonderful. Hey, did you hear it's supposed to rain today? Try not to get wet. Uh -huh -huh. Are you gonna pee on me? That doesn't seem right. Okay, we don't go into fields. We don't get pushed. <laughs> we... Definitely... Don't... Do it bad. Whoa. And everyone hates me. P is only... They are peeing on me. <laughs> Pee is only power if you hold it in! That's what the sign said. Okay, this is fine. It's pee time! Okay. We've seen this. That's terrifying. I don't like this. I don't like this. Where? Stop. Stop peeing on me. <laughs> I wanted to look at this poor cat. Somebody nailed a cat to the outhouse. You've been feeding this cat since spring, despite your father's objections. Maybe someone saw you do it and is trying to upset you. Or maybe this is some kind of Johannes ritual you've never heard of. Sad cat. Go away! Why does everyone here suck so much? Oh my god. Men are playing Truslinko! The one who gets the bread fly uh gets the bread fly the furthest is the winner. They've never allowed you to play. They say you are too weak. Well, I mean, buddy, you can't even jump. <laughs> I don't think they're I don't think they're wrong. Okay, we're... I have to go the long way to get these flowers. We're already doing better than we did before, though. This, seem this seems not correct. <laughs> Can I... If he can get through this way, I sure. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll fly. It's fine. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They forgot what it means to be true. I understand. I guess. I don't actually know that I do, but you know, it's fine. Stop! <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to know where any of these people are in relation to me. It's fine. Let's get this dang flower. <laughs> Who's weak now? Got that good dang jump. Whoa! Whoa! Hi! Hello! Everyone's over here! Oh my god! Sorry, I wasn't preparing for... I wasn't prepared for that run! Oh god. <laughs> Oh, 
Where is the well? <laughs> Scary lady, it's fine. We're only mildly horrified. Oh! Can everyone stop chasing me now? Please? I would like to not be chased anymore. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is like particularly scary, but it is I kind I kinda dig it. It's weird. Here for it. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Um I just want this kid to be happy, that's all. Put that in there. Just two more? No smooches for mama. Suffering. Like a true fin. Sir. What's this? Going to the sauna is the Johannes tradition. The one who endures the heat for uh, longest is respected by all. Children nearby are doing a gauntlet for the ones who enjoy some extra pain. Okay. I need everyone to stop. Oh no. <laughs> Please. I just want to get through. Okay. Please. I just want to get through. Everything is horrible. It's all bad here. Okay, there was still a flower by one of the carts. And... No. <laughs> no, don't... Stop! <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Sir, I'm just- I'm not- I'm not trying to go in the field! Oh! Everything's bad. It's all bad here. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. Bam! Yahas, Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna get chased again. This is fine. This is exactly what I wanted! It's not. It's not what I wanted. At all. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know where the other flower is. This is horrible. And it's so bright! Is it here? Yes. This is horrible. Huh? Um, I don't know where the last flower is. So that is a bit of a problem. Soon we will be together, my love. Last flower where? Last flower where? Where, flower? That boy was so fast! I just- I just want flower. Flower? Oh! It's- <laughs> There's only so many places the silly little flower could be, right? Where 
pirate it. Oh, this is horrible. Why are they allowed to go through the field and I'm not? <gasps> Flower! Oh no. Please. Oh shit! Oh, I can't go through the field. I've made this so much more difficult for myself. By not going through the field this entire time. I mean, once I started getting chased, obviously I couldn't go in earlier. I'm not gonna ask mama. She's gonna... She's gonna... <laughs> I don't know. Wiggle at me. You're the one! You are my true love! In the name of Perkelly! Kill them all, my love! Okay. What is this? Daddy! I'm very glad we get to explode everyone. This make this pleases me. Oh, I have to hit them against things, I understand. Boop! Can I kill these? Is there anything else? Who else is trying to hide from me? <laughs> right? I'm totally down for this. I was kind of hoping that this is where this was going to go. People were kind of dicks. Do you like the just hunks of people everywhere? Where where are the others? That's a scarecrow. We're fine with him. Can I get rid of these? pick them up I can pick them up and squeeze them <gasps> and I have a big jump now what a cool kid I saw those people on the roof, but I want to grab her. And this guy. <laughs> Who else? Who else is around? I see her. Come here. Yeah. Just like evil speak. Yes, you've done it! Just one more thing to do, and then we can be together. Let's go and meet your father. Okay. Let's go. <gasps> Gig. <gasps> wow, Satan's cool. The world is ours. 
Now go and make them all suffer! Anything for you, Daddy Satan. <laughs> Let's go! I like that. <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> Sweet, simple, to the point. We're here for it. Scruncho? Abby Scruncho? Right? It was very satisfying. I'm glad that we ended up getting... Or that we got to destroy the village in the end. Those guys were dicks. Alright, quit. On to the next thing. Start making sure the capture is still working. I also only have a black screen, so... Hey, there we go! Oh, oh. Journal? Hem? This is fine. All right. Oops. Not me constantly hitting the wrong button. Can I? <gasps> Give me that. All right. We've got Ah! Aaron? The the string the strangle ma. I heard it in my closet, I swear. Oh, sweetie, it's just a silly old book. My grandmother used to read it to me. There's no such thing as a strangle ma. Come here. See, champ, nothing to be afraid of. It's just all your stuff in there. Are, are you sure? The man on the news said that monsters are real now. Don't you worry about what no man on the news is saying. Ain't nothing gonna get you as long as we're here. Yeah, okay, dad. <gasps> I want them. Can I open you? Door stuck and won't budge. That's fine, I guess. What is this? October 10th. The 10th has been circled. <laughs> Great. Is that today? What is this? If you're reading this, that means you have been given the distinct honor of working one of our illustrious overnight lock-in parties. So you're either new or really pissed off the big guy upstairs. Either way, uh, get ready for 12 whole hours of screaming kids, drunk parents, and shitty pizza. Boss man takes the key with him after the party gets started, which must be violating some kind of labor law. Meaning if you want to grab a smoke, you'll need to get real comfortable with a weak old pizza box and vomit, uh, vomit aromatic blend of our dumpster. Uh, if you don't smoke, well, you will after working here for a week. If you uh, get really desperate, I worked something out with the bodega owner across the street. Guy's a bit of a nut job. Insists on making sure everything is coded so that the Department of Extraterrestrial Concerns doesn't catch on. Luckily, he's also the kind of nut job to make spare keys for all the neighboring businesses in case he needs to stock up after the apocalypse. Flick the door light three times to get his attention. If he sees you, he'll flash his lights back at you. Count the flashes and subtract it from today's date, then flash back that many times. After his lights go off, be sure to turn off the outside lights. Dude refuses to move when they are on. Seriously, try turning them on when he's coming over. He'll freeze like a statue. Creepy stuff. But it beats having to smoke out back. Great. Um, so three times? One, two, three... One, two, three. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I saw him. Thanks for the gift. I can't can't turn that off anymore. Okay. <laughs> All right. Man didn't have any eyes, but you know, we're not judging. I got two gifts. I... I can't progress at all unless I, unless I play more games, huh? Okay, hold on a second. Before that happens, I wanted to see if I... I did. Okay. I didn't see if I got any achievements, so I wanted to make sure... 
Let's do the next one. Gallery. Paint whispers in an infamous art gallery where mysterious disappearances have occurred. Let's go. Oh, so it's big glass day. Big glass. All right, sounds promising. We're here for it. Let's go. What's the worst that could happen? Witness. That's cool. It moves with me. I am going to... Turn the sensitivity down just a little bit, as well as the volume. Because I don't want the game to be as loud as me. Graphics. Oh, no motion blur. Absolutely, absolutely none. Okay. Witness. Backstory. It's been 20 years since humanity's first contact with advanced alien life. The world has changed drastically since their revelations. Our knowledge of the universe has exploded. We've learned some secrets of the universe. The supernatural has seemingly become natural. And yet, they seem to have omitted certain things from their revelation. They warned that there were, uh, would be a coming war with another universe. A war of universal natural selection, as they put it. One where their inhabitants would be thrown against each other to defend their inf infinite universal nation. It's three areas. Uh, but nothing's happened yet. Maybe it was a bluff. For the last four years, you've noticed that a large amount of people have been turning up missing around the area. People dismiss them as individuals living in a bad part of town. However, the sleuth you are, you managed to form a pattern. One that centers around the large art gallery near the center of town. Doesn't draw any outside suspicion. Nobody suspects its, uh, nobody suspects its innocence. For the last week, you've checked it out from the outside. Nobody's entered or left it that whole time, and yet, through the darkened windows, you still see something moving around inside. However, occasionally you'll hear a very low rumbling, electrical fuses popping, as well as mysterious voices bellowing faintly, as if for help. Bellowing faintly. Okay. Today is the day! Today, you will enter it and find out where all the people have gone. Great, let's go! <laughs> Loud. Game is moving me on my on its own. Hold on, sorry. I needed to turn it down. Okay, where am I? Oh, this is gonna make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna not move the mouse while it's moving. Okay, can we be done now? Excuse me. What is that? The Crux Gallery, stage one. I like I like your hands. All four of them. It is incredibly bright. Is it supposed to be this bright? Hey, are you cool? It's so beautiful. Okay, what is this? Love the title. Hmm. This one is alright. I might bring this one to a better spot, though. Also, the title of Splendor Coco is so cute. Julie. <laughs> is that is that a Slender Man? No, that's a Slender Man. I understand. Um <gasps> Hey! <laughs> Welcome, Ms. Lazarus. We're liking it so far! Um, we're only on the second one, second game. Uh, we just finished the Hunsvati one, and I dug it. I really liked it. <laughs> but yeah, hello and welcome in. Um. Oh, dope. Okay, cool. I only, like, briefly glanced at some of them. Uh, we'll keep.
keep it on for now. If it ends up giving me a headache, we'll turn it off. Hold on. You must be new here! Or you must be new here, right? Well, don't worry. We can get you all set up if you're interested. My name's Julie, by the way. Hello, Julie. Alright, let's get you set up. Name? Uh... Alex? Alex Cardinal? Sure. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. Looks like I already have everything I need on you, so please just wait a bit while everything goes through. Okay. Feel free to walk around and look at the artwork. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, th thanks. Oh, she's the one who left the note on that other painting over there. I understand. Boring subject. I like the composition on this one, but I think the color should pop a bit more. Or maybe the subject is just boring. No offense. No offense. I just mean you should have it be an attractive subject. Not me, but someone else, please. Julie. Okay. What? What is this? It appears... Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Um. Sure. Oh, great. Statue's look. Statue's looking at me. Statue has turned to face me now. All right, it cleared. You can come over. So you're all set for the full tour with the curator. Here, take these. Those earbuds. The earpiece explanations should help guide you through the maze that is the gallery. It should also be noted that we're currently having power issues. I noticed. <laughs> we aren't sure why this is happening, so in case you find yourself in the dark... Make sure to stay still and wait for the wonderful staff to come collect you! Perfect. Oh jeez, very sorry about that. All right, go ahead and have a wonderful time. Big statue is gone, all the people have left. Also, please disregard my little notes I'm leaving today. I'm new here as general caretaker. Those are for the gallery's eccentric curator. Okay. Okay, I do think I am gonna turn the, the bloom off. It is a lot to look at. So what's down here? Speaking of a lot to look at. <laughs> what is this? Transit damage. Uh-oh. I mean, are you kidding me? What a bozo. This will need to be swapped. The contrast turned out all wrong during transit. This is my brother's favorite painting growing up. I thought transferring it here would make for a nice honor. Hope this guy has life insurance because it's going to cost him an arm and a leg. I swear. Thanks, Julie. What is this one? Popularity is key. Oh, now this one is clever. Even a Da Vinci couldn't beat this one for pure, unadulterated attention. I'm glad we have a painting of this character here. It really boosts this whole collection. I'm telling you the money we'd make from just selling all this stuff. Uh, wait, I'm telling you the money we'd make from just selling all this stuff. Sorry, my bad. I know you hate that, but come on. You know I'm right. Thought I heard somebody, like, talk at me. Note. Tainted painting. Painting tainted. We'll need to be brought back for washing sometime this week, I think. Or not. Right? Not worrisome at all. I'm not concerned. This is fine. Gross. Please change this. Mr. Curator, whatever your name is, this is one of my least favorites in the lobby. Please try to reduce the amount of artworks in this style. It'll overload people's eyes and they'll explode, and I'm not going to be the one to clean it up when it inevitably happens. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I really like Julie's notes. They're very sassy in, like, all the right ways. Okay. Maze time. We just having the same, same painting in a row? It's fine, I guess. Oh! Hello? This makes me want to cry. 
Go on then. Do it. No one's stopping you. Sometimes it's good to just let it out. Content warning. 69 subjects in one painting? Nice. <laughs> nice. Door is making a funny noise. Reparations. Please disregard that last note. I know it wasn't appropriate, and I will try to keep the informalities to a minimum. This one's quite good for this location. It shows dichotomy in the presence of happiness. A classic. Good choice. Never apologize for pointing out the funny sex number. Never apologize for pointing out the funny sex number. It's so bright here. Do these have to be so visible? Are these the generators you were talking about, or are they art? They're not really the best look, but maybe the visitors won't be able to tell the difference. I mean, neither can I, but I guess that's kind of the point here. That's a person, and I cannot read that. Great. Can I go out here? What do you have to say about this? Look... Magenta synthesis? I'm so confused. Okay. <laughs> yeah, alright. This is fine. Welcome to the Crooks Gallery. My name is AC Justin, and I will be your guide for today. Please note that this is a recording, so should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. Not the ASMR. Possibly hot take? I don't like ASMR. It makes my brain itch in like the worst possible ways. Also, they dropped meat on me. I am a goop man now. I'm just supposed to stand here, right? I'm sorry, dog. I mean, it's a good job of being creepy. But oof. She knows how. She can't speak right. I said to go to the little room, right? I won't budge. It's very dark over here. It's incredibly dark over here. So dark here. That's literally what I said. Same. Also, have you given the dogs pets for me, Fruity? Because you gotta give the dogs pets for me. It's good, creepy ASMR, but it makes my brain do bad things. <laughs> Good. They deserve all the pets. What is this? What is this? Is this an egg? Egg! Egg! Okay. <laughs> egg! I don't think this is the room I was supposed to be in. It is technically a little room. Oh, jeez. 
That won't budge. I have. It won't, 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 it won't budge. This little room. Here we have this little room. Complex and simple and elegant artistic concept. And the fact that it like bounces between. I don't know if it's doing that for y'all, but since I've got headphones on, it like keeps bouncing between both sides of my headphones, and it's a lot. Gazoon tight. Hello? Okay. Ooh. Fancy doors. Yes, hello? All right, I think I'm just gonna, I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna go. This is many people with long ability have shown the duplication of the double body of the double. Cluster people and entity and spirit. Egg. This Am I making that turn by clicking it? <laughs> Just here. Help us talk to her, her mind's breaking. Whoa, hi, hello. Fine. This is fine. This is fine and normal. I'm not freaking out or anything. <laughs> you would. You would like her. Ugh. Okay. Bed power outages. Oh no. I have a battery? Does this go here? Yeah, I do. I'm an everyday le electrician. Let's go. I can put things on things. Get in there. This is wild and bizarre, and I... <gasps> Happy eight months, lovely Tilda. Oh, you choo! I'm panicking. We want to help you follow the whispers. It was a choo jump scare. Thank you for the eight months, friend! Help me, she knows how to save us. We appreciate it. Eight months, though. It's not art. Please don't leave me. Are they getting louder this way? No escape, build a bomb, destroy this place. Stream is going great. This game is stressing me out. 
like stressing me out in a good way, but it's stressing me out. Uh, <laughs> I've been a big fan of the Dread X collections since the since the first one. And so it's very exciting to see like a, a new group of uh game devs in this one. But oh boy. Can't run no legs. Can't kill me. Okay. Alright, ma'am. I just want to look at Julie's funny notes again. How are you doing, though? How's it going? Uh, statue meddling. Did you move something around here? These paintings are fine, I think, but someone keeps swapping the sculptures around, and it's freaking me out. I'm very glad to see that my recommendation has gotten approved, but something feels off. Every time I come in here, I have to put all of them back how they were. Looks like they're looking at me. I think one of them is checking me out. Please advise. Julie. <gasps> I appreciate the lurk, but also get all your stuff done. You got this, <laughs> but thanks for stopping in and saying hi. It's always really nice to see you. Oh God. Masterpiece number seven, future and humanity. Hi, hello. Okay. <laughs> the ding ding Friday, it's true. It's gonna be a good weekend. You got this. You're gonna do super great and you're gonna have a great weekend. We're all gonna have a great weekend. I demand that we all have a great weekend. It's okay if you don't. But also, I'll punch it. I'll punch the weekend for you. <laughs> no, you! No, all of us. Let me. I'm gonna grab some more water real fast. <laughs> While I'm. While I'm thinking about it, while we're looking at a note, and while things are a little calm. What is this on the floor? Why is there a paper towel on my floor? Get out of here, paper towel. Okay, um, flow vent noises. This one looks good here. The long hallway might discourage people from stopping to look, but I personally think this one looks good here. Um, just enough flow to keep things flowing, but not enough so it feels like a chore to look at. Amazing. Also, please fix the vents. I keep hearing weird vocal sounds coming from everywhere. I think I'm even hearing someone calling my name. Hey, Julie, are you okay? <laughs> I'm worried about you, friends. Boof. Okay. Um. Look at it if it comes. I don't have the willpower to hurt you if you make eye contact. Aggressive eye contact. Understood. I'm very good at that. Whispered. She knows. Talk to her. I do think I need to point out that I'm just- I am very bad at talking to people. But I'm great at aggressive eye contact. So I hope this lady forgives me. This hallway is so long. Save point. Stop. Here we have one of our most interesting pieces. Yeah? Tend to get what? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's very dark. Interacting interactive painting activities. Yay! This 3D painting is a good idea with lots of thematic uh, usability. Nobody's tried to make a see-through design before, but it feels nice when you do the do-it-yourself activity with it. Maybe you could expand this concept of painting your own paintings for the exhibit into more areas. Maybe you could even make a contest out of it. I can't see. It's dark. I'm scared. So 
So run, crouch. Why? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Oh god. Run up, down, left, crouch, run, run. Ah! <laughs> the amount of panic that that is causing me. Missing feelings, no more stories used by it. Fuck. Alex! Why? I don't know what that says. That's okay. Uh, she's broken. Her speech is breaking. Talk to her. Help us. It's keeping her here. It's keeping us here. You need to kill it. She knows how. Converse with her. Keep her sane. Learn from her. Find out how to kill it. There is a lot happening right now. Brought you here. You to her storage pen where it keeps her. It calls her its artistic masterpiece of expression. The one of many words. There's so many others. She once was a person. She found out how to kill it. She found out how to save us, but she needs your help. Transformations avoided her, broken her speech, taken her body. Don't be afraid. Talk to her. She wants to tell you what to do. Make her reveal what's going on. We've given you what we could to help you speak to what's left of her. It doesn't know you're here. Okay. Hold on. I'm grabbing a piece of paper real fast because I... There is a lot... <laughs> to pay attention to at the moment. And there are so many sounds. WK. Is WK like the... It's... Art place? Death situation. Gallery? Gallery is... Um, oh, there's a lot happening. Gallery is a time entity? Entity, possession... Gallery is an entity. The entity possesses me. Whoa! Is it... Oh, no. Okay. Um... That's what that says. So this is... What... What me do... What do you want me to do? Or... Why... V. Where is the V? Why gallery virtuous? Or why is gallery not virtuous? want me to do yeah hold on a second we're gonna turn this down just a little bit 
Uh, um, this says ER. You so, like, I'm possessed, consume no, this J I is an ID. is not healthy. Um, knowing why I'm possessed isn't healthy. This is a lot to translate. And I wish I could explain it better as to how I'm doing it, but I hope everyone understands. This top option is white. What do I do? And that is... Hypothetical? Hypothet hypothetical entity. And I... Negation. What if entity is virtuous? I don't think I don't I don't think it liked that. Okay, what does this say? Uh, you... Your sanity? Me... Is... I'm not entirely sure what that's trying to say to me. It only gave me the one option anyway. Okay, what is this? I... Do... Oh, no, I understand what it means by possession now. Okay. Um. So, like, I don't... Or I want... Hold on. I don't want... Or I do not have health? <gasps> Hi TK! Thank you for the, the contribution to the gummy hunt! Um DRR. Hold on. So... Oh, this is a lot. <laughs> D is health or sanity. RR is a verb. 
But the N-I is a negation. I am conversing with some sort of cosmic entity and I am bad at, at English. <laughs> Is, is what this is. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, is this supposed to be like, I'm not... Like, I don't have sanity? Is that what it's saying? Like, I'm not sane? I like, I like the concept. I really like this idea, but I am very bad at all of this. The crux wants you. I probably should have, like, taken a picture of all that. Can I touch this again? Fuck off. Fuck off! <laughs> How are you doing, TK? How's it hanging? Running, 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 running. Ugh. Nice. We appreciate naps. Fuck off! <laughs> I hate the. Oh. It's good sound design. <gasps> that might help. Thank you, Travis. I meant to take a picture of it, and then I just- I panicked. There were so many sounds. My poor brain just melted. It's fine. Oh, fuck. Shit. I don't- want to give man hug. My veins have been pulled and turned into paintbrushes. Hate when that happens. <laughs> How far back does it put me, though? Oh, no. Okay, not too terribly far. not the best use for veins. It's not the worst either, though. I feel like there are better mediums with which to make paintbrushes. But you know what? Who am I to judge art? Stop. Stop. Bad. Bad shadow man. Fuck off. Fuck off. Be gone! <laughs> Please! I'm scared. No, he's so fast! Okay. Fuck! <laughs> I was trying I was trying to back out of it. My bones have been swapped for your childhood bones. The children will be delighted. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, the sound? It's the sound that's freaking me out more than anything. Oh. Uh... Bad sounds. Okay, can I... I just want to go. Oh, 
the bones are the children's money, and the worms are the children's dollars. And and there's half as much food underground where the children are than there is above ground. <laughs> oh, I've already done this so bad. Oh, God. You know, as long as the children are delighted, they then my bones can be replaced with my childhood bones. That's fine and acceptable. Find? Fine. I'm dying. <laughs> I am dying. Fuck off! It's, I like I like the design. It's very good, but also horrible. <laughs> horrible in all the best ways. I did it. I got through. I've released her. <gasps> hi, hi, hello. She wants to help you. You want to help? We want to help you save her. You're in danger. It's not your guide. Be afraid. Be afraid. <laughs> Only she knows how to save us, how to kill it, build the bomb. Oof. Make her remember the components, bring her back. What is happening? Oh no. Not a confusion, insanity. We've got our thing back. It's fine. Hi, lady! You good up there? Holy shit. Uh, S-H-W-O. Where... Where am I? Gallery... <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, she just vibing. We can hang out. This is cool and fine. Um, and I you. I don't know. V W K. What is V? Virtuous. We're in the gallery. That is that increased our sanity and confusion. That's fair. <sighs> Gallery something isn't? Hold on. WK. Art place. J.I. Gallery is... N.I.V. Gallery isn't good. Also, ouchies. Why does my arm hurt? So I've got a scratch on my elbow. Okay, so yeah, gallery isn't good. This is... Place... J.I. Places... How do I make is a verb? Uh... N I V Q. Virtuous consume. Place. Place has. Uh, what is the second one? What? What is F? No, it's a hypothetical. What? How? Gallery is VK? So, like, what if the gallery is a good place? It's not. So let's 
Well, our sanity went up and our confusion went up, but our sanity's doing better than our confusion! Okay, what is this? You... You have... VQ. You have Virtuous Consume. Gallery is... EK? Isn't a thinking place. Well, we did it. I managed to fumble my way through that. So that's cool. I think I I think I mostly understood. This way. That's a wall. I have found a wall. Get me out of the bad dark hallway, please. Air is hose, why bother? Air isn't hose today though, which is great. I was trying to translate what she was saying, and it's basically saying that the gallery is a bad place. This is stage two! Sunless Dungeon. She has revealed to us the first piece of the anti-crux bomb. There are two components in total. So this lady has been like cons been like consumed by the gallery or the people in charge of the gallery. You must end a oh, fuck. It's a piece of art that looks like an eye. Find it, it's somewhere here. Okay. So yeah, this lady is like, figure out how to kill <laughs> the building or the things possessing the building or the things inhabiting the building. But she got, she got got by the things in the building and has been torn apart, but we helped her put things back together. And now she can tell us how to destroy the bad building that is bad. It's bad here. Decorations! Feeling excited! I don't know about this one being here. The lighting in this one looks a little off. Maybe we could find a better one to swap it with? I don't really like this area in general. The feeling of everything is off. Oh, I'll talk to you about some interior decorator recommendations. I know a good one up north. He's got this specific theme it looks like we're going with. Also, I tended to my first visitor today. Hopefully the strange state of what I'm seeing now won't deter anyone from appreciating this very fine art gallery we have art gallery we have here. Julie, I think Do you think that the lady that's been torn apart is Julie? And that the Julie we saw earlier is just a husk. I just like Julie, and I want Julie to be around more. Strange hallway. We'll talk later. What is up with this hallway above? That doesn't seem up to code. Who did you say built this place? I did some research, and the guy seems normal to me. Maybe it was a renovation. I mean, even the railings just don't make sense. You know, ever since I walked in here looking for a job yesterday, all I've seen is some of the strangest design choices. Even the stuff you keep telling me over the phone about making me better in return for appearance and loyalty needs to quit if you want this whole operation to have even a modicum of normalcy. Speaking of which, where even is the rest of the employees? We'll talk about this tomorrow. I'm worried about Julie, is, is what I'm saying. Gotta find a painting of an eye. I can't read this. It's fine. Also, if that baby could stop crying, <gasps> that would be great. Shit. <laughs> First note, possible display. Hey! Testing, testing, testing! I know this is paper, but screw it. Hello, curator! This is going to be part of a series of little notes I'm putting up to help with the setup of this exhibition. I know it's very early here on my first day, but I'm quite excited to be able to finally get my foot into my dream job. I'm glad to finally be a part of this little gallery project you've been working on. I'm hoping to finally get to see you in person sometime. 
Anyway, I'm going to start off by recommending some changes for this thing. The style of this humanoid statue here is very interesting. Maybe we should put it in the lobby instead. I don't see any more in the style to work in a collection, but maybe we can locate more sculptures in this style to work something out? I think a display with these might work as a demonstration of the lighting system we have. By having some spotlights above, I mean. I'll email you my prop, uh, my proposal. Julie, it's bad here. You need a new job. What is this? Why is this? Eyeball painting. I need to leave. I need to leave. I have to go. I'm not allowed to move. I have to go. Never mind! The paintings are taking care- he, Are they tickling him? No, they're... They're pulling stuff out of him. Not me thinking they were tickling him. What does this mean? Is it bad if I step on that? I don't think I'm gonna step on that. I think that's a bad idea. Up ahead, you'll find an interesting piece called Julie Ran. <gasps> no! Running from beautiful destiny. Julie! Gets a reaction from every person I've had. I've got to bring it to the game anymore. Hi, I, I, you and Ensign? Welcome in! Vent vocals, red door. All right, you need to fix these vents here too because it's really freaking me out. I keep hearing the sounds of like people, maybe from neighboring studio spaces. They keep saying something about wanting to escape and to talk to her. I know you told me not to open them, but I'm at a point where I really just need to find where these are coming from. I'll open the space of strange red door to see if there's anything I can do about. Oh, Julie. Oh, Julie. Okay, I need, I need baby to stop crying. What is this? Oh no. Up, crouch, up. That, 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 that. I don't like these sounds. Stop. 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 <laughs> no chasing. Here's another one. Up, down. Stop. said it before, I'll say it again. The sound design in this game is very good and very horrible. They did a great job of making it as unnerving as possible. Over here? No. This did nothing. I just walked in a circle. Did my game just crash? I think it crashed. <laughs> you know what? We'll read all of these at the very end. Um... Hold on a second. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna reload and see if it saved our progress. It did, okay. Oh, um, we kind of have to do some of it over again. That's fine. 
Whoa! It's fine, I can read some of this again. Excuse me. I must find the first, the bomb container. It's a piece of art that looks like an eye. Find it somewhere here. Violet, 28 spare sinews. Ted, 4217, economic infinity. Julianne, 31, be great deception. Thank you. Yeah, at least it's not all the way at the start. Cynthia, 54, prime agony. Cedric, 12, misplaced happiness. John, 78, Mute and Self-Abuser. Hey, we can try this again. Gonna be the jump scare. Can't get me twice. Can I go over here? Egg. Oh, those are secrets. Okay. I didn't click on all the ones that I found in the, in the first bit. And that's okay. Oh. Okay. Looked at the first note again. Watch the art tear the person apart again. I'll drink some water while they're getting ripped apart because it's important to stay hydrated. This is fine. Also. Turn the bloom down just a little bit. Okay, stepping on that doesn't do anything. Up ahead. You'll find oh, this zoom. Don't. Maybe don't make more. I think you will, for sure. Uh. Oh. I. Okay. This is fine. I. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> My brain just said, nah, you're good. I wasn't good, actually. <laughs> this is fine and okay. It's fine and okay. It, it throws me off when it starts out with the click. Because it counts towards, like, the start of uh, your thing. And that just throws me off entirely. Do what you gotta do, Chew. Again, thank you for the sub earlier and for stopping in and saying hi. Happy lurking. Sir, you are too close. a bit of a problem. Found it. It's 
sir. <laughs> this looks like it's meant for a door in this maze. Okay. Honestly, he says no, no chill. Up, run, down. Buddy! Okay, 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 okay. Uh... That's where I came from? Please, door, open up faster. <laughs> Camille, 36, cheater, lover, and receiver. Okay. Baby painting! Alright, what the fuck is going on here? I just pulled a fucking baby out of the red door and it was half filled with body parts and half finished paintings. The baby isn't gonna make it, especially since half of it was merged with the half of the painting. I'm gonna call the police once I can figure out how to exit this goddamn place. I've taken so many pictures and videos you're gonna rot in jail, you fucking psycho. Julie, you're a parent and loyal worker. Yeah, Julie, you gotta get out of here, girl. It's bad here. My final note, running, day four. This is to the curator directly. I'm tired of running. I've run all the way back from the sewers, and so this final note will be intermingled with my previous ones. It's day four here, and you'll be glad to hear what I found. I've gone through and found a lot more evidence further down. Still can't believe I'm alive. Doesn't even hurt anymore. This is just who I am now, thanks to you. Look forward to all of this showing up in the news sometime soon, though I guess you'll see it all beforehand since they're on my amazingly generous notes. You're so welcome. I hope your exhibit is full of happiness because I know you aren't. Considering I've never even physically seen you, I'm gonna say you're a cowardly, repulsive freak who believes in nothing and actively seeks to fuck over as many people as possible just so you can attempt to feel something. Despite all of these uh, evocative paintings and sculptures, I don't think you even understand any of these concepts or feelings. Someone who was really in line with our reality would know that, but this is your reality, isn't it? Your precious little echo chamber. You're a fraud. You're a goddamn uh, call trap upon the earth. You'll never even see me, or you'll never see me again. I'm running away and I'll, you'll never be able to find me. Please don't find me. Oh, Julie, I think you got found. <laughs> Victor, 52, bystander and hard worker. <laughs> we'll see you later, Josie. Thanks for hanging out as long as you have. It's always a delight to see ya. Have a good rest of your night. Oh. Who's... Who's that? Please help me. I. What's going on? I don't want to be. It's art. Kill me again. Kill, 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 collect, play, reap. It's 
It's meat. It's meat. There's so much meat. Oh, it's bad here. Oh, it's bad here. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Uh. Also, welcome properly, Fruity. Oh god, that was horrible. I think I'm stuck here. I don't want it to be my turn. Alex, 28, child of the consort. You need to get out. Yeah, no shit! Build the bomb, save us. Escape with these. Thanks. Battery is empty. Battery is fully charged! I do kind of like the little, like... Uh... Not cuties, but kind of cuties. Care for it with your life. They're not, like, particularly complicated, and they're very straightforward, and I appreciate that. Baby joke, I'm leaving. These weren't on the floor plans. I'm just speechless. Just where did you find this many 3D displays? It's quite dim, but I see you've already integrated my ideas for more lighting and more usage of 3D displays, but I didn't think you would take it this far. This room looks absolutely incredible. The giant limbs and environment work are amazing. I love the iconography and the storytelling in this piece. The themes match quite well with the paintings in the entrance hallway. I would suggest you put railings, though, because it almost actually feels like I could fall. Also, do something about the smell. The heat must be getting to the displays and burning something. Now, regarding your phone call about the baby issue, I don't think that joke was funny. Not at all. You should be arrested for using a visitor's child for a prank to scare me. I could have sworn it was uh, limp and disfigured just a second ago, but I guess your makeup skills are quite good? Since I still do want to see this project come through, I've given my two weeks notice instead of walking away outright. That was the most unethical thing I've ever seen, and the fact that you would call it an art piece is bordering on the side of mania. Either way, I'm giving high praise to this little hollow setup in this raised corridor section. Just put railings for God's sakes. I don't want people thinking that uh, they would be in danger just for walking through. Julie, you fool! It is a lot to look at, but I do kind of like it. It's Meat Hole. We're in Meat Hole. Plug it in now. Oh! Oh, I was supposed to take the battery with me. <laughs> I didn't take the battery. This is horrible. I am in meat hole hell now. It's meat hole, Fruity. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do about it. No oh, fuck. I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna... It's just time to go. Ah! Ma'am. Ma'am! This is fine. Your skin has been turned into canvas. It happens. I understand. 
Oh good, battery is here now. Ah! This is horrible. Horrible. Oh. Not good, not good, not good. I am stuck on the wall, I am stuck on the wall! It is incredibly dark. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get through that. Whispers! I have to admit that a lot of what I've seen thus far is way above what I would expect from a gallery. This feels almost more like an amusement park or a cinema than a gallery, but I suppose that's what the public is into these days. This area feels quite barren in comparison. Maybe you could spruce it up a bit? Try taking some of that previous lighting and integrating it here, because I keep getting turned around. Also, the whispers from the vents keep getting louder. They really, really sound like they want me to listen, but I don't see what the big issue is. Jeez, just stop it already. Like, guys, I'm not interested in your car insurance. Get the hint. And no, I'm not crazy. I am genuinely hearing these things. I mean, I hear them as if they were actual whispers, not because I'm saying I'm actually crazy. You know what I mean. I'll be gone soon anyway. Who cares? Fix the ventilation. Hi, Llama! Lamia says, I am awake now. Okay, I'm just supposed to take the battery with me every time once I figure out where I'm going, right? Here? You can use your battery to emit a powerful flash of light. Might drain your battery when you do, but it will stun them. sculpted alive. It wasn't opening the door. Is the- oh fucking hell. Okay, just give me this. You know, <laughs> there are aspects of this one that I really dug, but it just- it feels, at this point, it is much more tedious than it is fun. It's a cool concept, and I like the idea, but it needs to be a little less intense as far as expectations are concerned. I don't know. Like, the translation bit was kind of neat, but I wish it wasn't as... as demanding as it was. <laughs> Can I... Open this... And then come back here. Is that the move? I think that's the move. I don't know why I'm still trying to collect those. Fuck off! Oof. Another red door! I'm scared! There's a red door here. I know you told me to just ignore the whispers and to not enter the red doors, but... These whispers have to stop. I literally cannot work without being seemingly constantly harassed about people being, and I quote, flayed for parts and life stories and ripped into artwork, concepts, canvas fibers, and building materials. I'm really scared now. 
I'm starting to think I may actually be in danger. Were those really 3D displays? Like, you reassured me they were? I don't hear anything through this door, but I really want to find a way to stop these whispers, so I better not find any visitors' babies in here, alright? <laughs> not the careless whispers. Julie, 26. Independence and gullibility. Dang. Rip Julie. I liked her. Okay. <laughs> Julie was cool. Ah! I'm just trying to see where I'm going. Okay. Where? <laughs> This is horrible. I would like to not be here anymore. Is this the eyeball? Maxime, 72, avid donor and typist. You've gotten the bomb container. We have the first ingredient, only one left. You need to get her to remember the last piece. But be careful, its corruptions have almost completely taken her sanity from us. Help us. I miss my family. Alien hell, bomb it, kill it. Was this the third third chapter? She's fallen so far she almost lost her humanity. Oh boy. We've given you a weapon. Use it to make her remember her humanity. This? Hey! What... is... What? What am I? You... are... You are a good you, you are... You are possession. You are... Oh. W R R A U V Grass Good Art <laughs> You are loved, you are valid. Girl, listen. You are good, you I'm gonna say.
We'll just keep shooting her with missiles every so often. Um... I... am ERP. I am an object. Time, place, situation is... limited? You are... not... or VA. I'm doing this incredibly bad. <laughs> Love is not consumed. Yeah, it's... Again, I feel like a lot of the stuff that they're having me do is just making it more convoluted. I don't know... Let's say that. I'm not doing great here. I'm kind of ready to, like, move on. <laughs> what if... What if I... am not... What if I'm not... What if you are not... the gallery? I... I am not the gallery. I just have like one section left to do is the thing. <laughs> gallery is not good. I think I think you are. Okay, well, we did it. That's fine. Again, my general understanding is that this gallery is run by some entity that is taking people and destroying them to make art. And this person that we've been talking with, the lady, knows how to destroy the thing. Oh, this is the final stage. Maybe we do just finish this. Um, but we have to, like, keep reminding her of her humanity, because otherwise she's just gonna become a monster, like, what Curator Man is making. Skin, red door, alive! It, it took my skin! As I write this here, I'm on my knees. I can't feel anything, there's blood everywhere. How am I still alive? The red door was empty, nothing except for an empty painting frame. It said it needed fresh, rebellious perspective and took my skin and pulled it tight for canvas. Still wanted something more. It wanted all my parts. It wanted all parts of me. All of my history and my life story and my identity. It wanted purity of material and inspiration to build its perfect vision of the concept of running from destiny. Apparently I was something of an untapped gold mine. Wasted potential and meaning floating the infinite dust of existence. Cost me more than I'd like to say, but I managed to escape it into, hall into the halls. I have to find a way out. I can only move further in. What day is it? Core, the last piece. So close. It's chaos. Pick it up and kill this place. Save us. Okay, I would like to. But... You won't let me. You do it.
I am stuck behind the door. Yeah, again, I think this would have been a little more effective if there had been a little less going on. Like, if it wasn't as... Excuse me. I've been disjointed and put on display outside for the birds. I feel like how in-depth the puzzles are is detracting from everything else and the fact that like it is these really just long out parts <laughs> of me running away and trying to like figure out where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do um, is not benefiting this uh the story. It's a cool concept, and I like what they're what they're going for. But it uh, it's not. It's kind of missing the mark for me. I know the battery is empty, but there's another battery there! I want that battery! There's a thing in my way! Game! This might end up being one that I just finish on my own time, because I... Curator, art, humanity, I'm scared. If you're reading this, I'm most likely dead. Or more accurately, repurposed. Paintings and pieces I've been no uh, noting and commenting on. They're people. Not just in material, but in concept and in subject. Uh, these aren't paintings. These are illustrations. These are people's lives. The tone is the person's character. The colors are their blood and emotions. The frames are their bones and fortitude. When you look at a painting of four lonely planets in space, that's not oil on canvas. That's a family from down the street feeling isolated from other family members and choking in the void of endless unreachable goals. Debt. Forget what you remember about your art teacher describing colors. Cold colors are sadness and the warm colors are happiness. Everything is literal here. I don't think it knows what emotions are. I don't think it knows what uh, similes are. Who is the curator? What is the curator? Why is the curator? Again, like, it's a neat concept. I like this idea of, like, <laughs> paintings being literal. Like, it's made from whatever subject it's, it's portraying. But I feel like a lot of it has kind of gotten lost in me... Constantly trying to figure out the puzzles. And also... Great, my battery is charged! Alright, yeah, I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna call it for gallery. I gave it a good old try. I think we spent most of the stream on this one. I wanted to like it! I like the idea and I like the concept. The execution just feels clunky to me. <gasps> Thank you for the lurk, TK. I will probably finish that on my own time because we're so dang close to the end. But I think we should move on to a different game. All right, what do we got next? There's an upstairs. Zorlock! <gasps> I am a wizard! Is this just a fun little mini game? Oh! I figured those were gonna pop up, but I didn't know when. Slash, figuring out where the hitbox is is good. Great. Oh, 
<laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> it's fine. This is a nice little moment. Oh. It's a good break after everything that was gallery. Oof. Yeah, like I said, I think, like, it was a cool idea and a cool concept. It just... There was so much padding on it <laughs> in regards to, like, the complicated puzzles and everything. Fuck. That's a bad meat monster over there. does this end? Error! I can't read all that. <gasps> this is fine. I got a present. It's a bad noise, though. Can I go upstairs? Won't let me open it while I'm carrying a present. Or maybe it just won't let me open it at all. We shall see. Throw that there, and then I want to see if I can go upstairs. Um. Yeah, I mean, Noodly Man that beats you to death is a go-to. And it's not always necessary. I, li I liked the creature design in the last one. Um, and I liked the overall aesthetic. I just... Like I said, I feel like so much of it was just me smashing my head into the wall about complicated puzzles that I, like, forgot what was going on. <laughs> and it kind of took away from everything else. Um, yeah. <laughs> Threaten to beat me up. Don't actually beat me up. Um, all right, let's do the next one. Book of Blood. Night signals closing time at Pomeroy Grasslands Carnival and its employee, Trevor, volunteers to lock up. Alone in his booth with a strange book and lost and found, a man steps out of the darkness and hands Trevor a note. Let me in. Uh, before we start, I am going to turn my fan back on. Because it's starting to get a little warm up here. I am starting to get a little warm. I think the temperature is actually fine. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Play. Let's go. Okay. I was like, why did why is it leaving? The book of blood. But yeah, like it started out spooky and I liked it, but it ended up just getting frustrating because I was just dying constantly. There's a there's a very fine balance between um sorry, turning that down a little bit. There's a very fine balance between dying enough that you stay spooked and dying so much that you just get your immersion breaks. Or it just becomes a slog. It's not great. <laughs> Can we go? Can we start? It's true. Whoa! Hold on a second. Game decided it's gonna be incredibly large. Oh, that's because it decided that three... <laughs> <laughs> 3840 by 2160 is the correct resolution, and it's not. There we go. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Hey, dude. <laughs> you the last one here? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's been a busy one. I have some... Hold on a second. The subtitles are getting covered up. 
There we go. Thing I'm going to set up for tomorrow. Shh. Sucks for you. Hey, man. We can't all just wander around in a suit pretending to work. Screw you, man. This... Take town. How about you have Amy conjure up some overtime for me there, magician? Nepotism. I won't stand for it. So do you want me to wait for you? Nah, it won't take too long. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, just remember to lock the gate. Amy was pissed last time, dude. Oh, wait, there's something down here. It's a weird-ass book. Is it a book um, of blood? I don't know. This looks like it belongs to, like, maybe the psychic or something. I don't know. Put in your lost and found. We'll figure out who it belongs to tomorrow. I got one last trick. I'm going to disappear. Later, dude. Psh, okay, stupid. bye! All right. I don't hate the I voice acting so far. Whoa! 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 That is incredibly wiggly. Put book back. Put book in back. Put money in safe. Lock back door and turn off music. Get that music out of here. Fucking finally. Honestly. Locked back door. Wait, no, this is the back door. No, this is the back door. Uh, uh, no thank you. No. What is this? Oh no. Okay, hold on a second. We gotta... We gotta turn that sensitivity down. That's better. Money? Money? Earnings for the day. It needs to be put in the safe in the back. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, book? Strange book that might belong to one of the booths here. Place in back. All right. What goes what there? On the list? Close that up. That. <gasps> you scared the shit out of me, man. Okay, JK. Voice acting's a little over the top. What the fuck? Look, man. Hi. You need to leave. We're closed right now. locked lock it why is it one of the junction boxes must be out I should check the breaker in the back to see which ones sir I'm already here three three is broken where am I I need to go out to the right are you kidding me Cheap keychain light can be replaced with battery dies. I better look out the side window before I go out there. I don't want to let that thing in. I I hate this. Hello? Where's the box? Where is the box? Oh, 
this is... <gasps> okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Can I, can you, can you pick that up? Can you find the box? What is this? Why do I have spray paint? I would like to go back to my hidey hole, please. This game is incredibly dark and I would like to not be out in the open anymore. I don't want to be here. It is bad here. It sucks out here. I don't want to be out here. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> what am I doing? What do I do with this? What is this? What am I trying to do paleography department march 5th 1954 researcher edwin lurdy found document age not yet determined possibly 1300s uh note edwin while filing my work for the day a colleague had found this manuscript reportedly hidden inside the lining of a st uh, steamer trunk found in their most recent shipment of antiquities Upon first inspection, there are a number of intriguing aspects of this book. I will be recording my findings and compiling everything as I perform my work. Note Edwin. Print is heavily faded apart from what looks like a title page with the word blood, which, given the estimated age of this book, could roughly be uh, Middle English, Danish, Norwegian, or a number of other origins translating to blood. Note Edwin. Text is basically unreadable. It looks as if the pages have been written on multiple times. Uh, written on multiple times in different languages. There are also a number of strange pictographs created with a newer ink. Uh, note, Edwin, this is a very peculiar find. While the faded writing doesn't appear to be any kind of cipher, there is a card that looks as if it would be used to decode. Its markings seem to match uh, with the pict pictographs. After I've assessed the rest of the book, I'll, I will take another look at this, uh, at this piece. Card has two moving parts controlled by the center button, a wheel that rotates, and a set of holes that change configuration. There's a lens in the middle of the ring that adjusts slightly with each turn of the wheel. My theory is that the lens is used to reveal something within the book. Exactly what is unclear currently. I feel uneasy. I saw the first pictograph as I turned the wheel. To match the star to the markings, symbols would burn into the paper. Um, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Upon solving them all, a symbol of the sun appeared at the top of the page. There are no mechanisms within the book to explain this. It's out there in the dark. My documentation may become a guide for others should I die. I believe it is trying to keep me from solving the book. I hate to write in such an old piece, but I believe the creator of these images was attempting to stop this, and I should do the same. Use on book pages. Three answers found on page. What? Turns of the star is down there? That doesn't make sense.
Like this, right? What? Use on book pages. Three answers found on page. I am incredibly confused. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, after turning the ring to have the sun at the top, I decided... Oh. Like... No. No, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, what? After turning the ring to have the sun at the top, I decided to look at the pages of the book through the ring, believing the lens in the middle may reveal something. I was correct in this assumption. When the ring has the proper image at the top, it can reveal hidden symbols on the empty pages. Upon discovering a symbol through this lens, it became burned into the circle on the ninth page. I don't understand. Something horrible I simply cannot fathom is bound to this book, and I believe completing the circle is the answer to stopping it. I will be using the answers from each pictograph to scan the book as I reveal them, if I live long enough. There's an illustration that appears to be depicting some sort of seance. The symbol on the ground is the same as the one on the ninth page. The symbol above is foreign to me, but looks similar to that of a bind rune, as if something is meant to be bound to this, uh, to this book. Kept it locked away, the book was meant to contain it, the symbols are the key. Okay. Going to die, there's little more I can- uh, there's little more I can do but leave whoever may find this my notes. I believe the only way to stop this is to find all the symbols and complete the circle on the ninth page. What I've come to understand. Adjust the card to match the answer of the, each pictograph. Move the card over the pages of this book. Blood. It does say blood. You're correct. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Okay, so move the card over the pages of this book while looking through the card's lens to discover all of the symbols. My theory, based on the illustration, is to draw the circle on the ground and place the book in the center once completed. My hope is this will trap whatever it is that has been let loose. So are you supposed to use the spray can for that? Understood. I don't believe there are any symbols to be found before the title page of this book. I've lost too much blood. It's drinking it. I love you, Amanda. There's a loose paper in the back of the book that has an oil-like substance on it. It's clearly some sort of pattern, but too faint to make out. I'm gonna try and obtain an ultraviolet light from our uh, conservation department to test for phosphors. I'm scared to leave this room, but the substance may be UV sensitive with a clue to solving this. That makes sense, so I have to take it into like a fun house or something. Sir. Okay. Before we continue, let's take a short break, because I've been streaming for almost three hours, um, and I need to pee. I do want to give this, like, a, a bit of a try uh, before calling it quits. I don't know that we'll go for a full four, um, but I do kind of, I like this concept, and I think once I understand how the puzzle works, it could be fun. Uh, we also might do more Dread X, um, this coming week. We're pretty dang close to, like, finishing Song of Horror, though, so we might save more of this for after Song of Horror. Or we could just do this next Friday. No, we can't, because next Friday is Friend Friday. So maybe we'll do it on the third. There will be more Dread X at some point. But we're going to take a short break first because I have to use the bathroom. Um, and I can get more water this way. So, if you haven't for a while, get up and stretch. Grab a snack. Also refill your water. Um, and yeah, 
MP is power, and I have been holding it in for too long. I would rather be weak than powerful at this point. If it means I have to hold my pee, it's pee time. <laughs> we'll be right back. Was it anagram? Did you just type it in a little too late? <laughs> oh well, I'm back. Oh, too many A's. Okay, I didn't get a good look at the word, so I was not sure. Okay, I refilled my water, I have peed. Um, let's give this game a, uh, a look. A look, see, why don't we? Okay. Can I just like fight this man? Why is this unlocked? What's the point of locking it if he's just gonna unlock it? We gotta go into the fun house, right? To uh use our use the light. Hmm. Oh, it is very dark. Sir. What was that? Symbol at the top? Okay, it's time to go back to our little hut. head was on backwards. Fuck. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. 
No, no, lock! No, lock! Huh. I'm still not entirely sure. What some of these symbols mean. <laughs> like... I want, like, this, right? But then this one... is also that. And this one is also that. I don't understand. Wait. No, I think I do. No, no, I don't. No, I do. So I'm supposed to put the star. in this position so then it would be this there might be starting on page 15 and it goes to 47 i think that's more than 18 <laughs> um I'm just trying to, like, understand how the... this works. Before I do anything, you know? Okay, so, like... use the sun on the book pages? I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I am very bad at code breaking like this. So I put this like this and I put the star there. Then it only circles this one. What does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna look this over again. Card has two moving parts controlled by the center button, a wheel that rotates and a set of holes that change configuration. There's a lens on the hole of the ring that adjusts slightly with each turn of the wheel. Yeah. Where was the other note? After turning the ring to have the sun at the top, I decided to look at the pages of the book through the ring, believing the lens in the middle may reveal something. I was correct in this assumption. When the ring has the proper image at the top, it can reveal hidden symbols on the empty pages. Okay, so it wants me to have that there? Because that's what was on that piece of paper, right? So then am I supposed to... here? <gasps> Emmy! Thank you for the contribution. How are you doing, friend? How is it going? My brain is breaking. Okay, hold on. Let me... Here? Here. <laughs> I 
Well, at least it started to function. That's good. How are you doing? I'm trying to understand how this puzzle works. If anybody has any... <laughs> this is one of the few times that I will say, if somebody has... I won't even say a hint, but just an, an understanding of what I'm supposed to be doing. Hi, sir. Get out. Go. Be gone. I am incredibly confused as to how I'm supposed to, like, decode this. The little paper had the... <laughs> oh, off. Oh, okay, that's okay. Just keep doing what I'm doing then. Okay, well, our little, like, the little symbol on the piece of paper had this icon at the top, right? It's a little. I don't think this is correct. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like an absolute idiot once I figure this out. So I appreciate everyone's patience while I try to mess around with this and understand what's happening. It's loose paper on the back with an oil-like substance on it. We've done that. It had the little, the square with the little circle on it. The thing that I have at the top of our little buddy. That was a loud sound and I didn't like it. Gonna ignore it. Um. That's okay. If I put the sign at the top that doesn't... Use on book pages, three answers found on page. So if I do this... So there should be five answers? Is that right? Okay, wait. I understand that this is the bottom of the card, but what does this mean? This can't be correct. Hold on. Two answers on the page. It's gonna be our thingy. That? I'll add an extra day or two to it. If we don't make it, though, like, that's it. We're done with it. <laughs> we didn't make it then. We'll just, we'll put it aside and then we'll try again another time. And one? Is this right? I feel like I'm missing something. I'm gonna just keep looking at these and saying words out loud as if it makes a difference. Um. <laughs> well, how close are we? How close to the for the gummy hunt are we? We're at 
we're like 40,000 off. I don't think we're gonna get there. That's okay. We can try it again another time. So wait, is it always the sun? Do we always start with sun? <laughs> Upon solving them all, a symbol of the sun appeared at the top of the page. There are no mechanisms within the book to explain this. Okay, so... So do I just line this up on each one of these? Hope for the best? It did a thing. It it did a thing. Was that because I put the sun there? That sound scared the shit out of me. No. Okay, but there should be five on this page. I think I'm starting to understand, but also I'm not, yes. Okay, okay, no, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, I understand. So I'm supposed to, so I'm supposed to match the symbol at the top of the page to the icon in the circle. Whatever this little dash is, that's where this symbol at the top of the page needs- uh, you can't see my fucking cursor! Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> okay! You can see my cursor now! So the symbol at the top of the page will also mark these. Okay. This symbol will determine which symbol I have to match to the little dashes in the circle. And upon doing that, then there will be a new a symbol that shows up in the center. So when I so when I put the sun here, because the little dash is here, this showed up. I'm understanding more now. I get it. I don't know why my brain didn't understand that. It was explained strangely and I didn't get it, but we have it now. I I understand. <laughs> why did I why did I figure out what was on the paper though? Okay, this tells me how many of these little little symbols I have to find on each page. So there were three on this one and there were five on this one. We found all five of them. On this page, I have to match the, the tier to the little, to the little spot. And there should be two answers on this one. I understand now. I don't want to say that it wasn't clear, but I definitely was not understanding. But we got it now. Everything is fine. See? There we go. I guess you could technically just, like... I don't know if you could actually do this, but, like, just sit here and, like, rotate through each and every single one of them. Um, okay, okay, alright. I gotta get the skull here. There should be three. Skull goes here. That's not it. Skull goes there. That's not it. Have I explained it better so everyone else understands as well? 
Wow, these are shit speeds compared to what I'm used to now. Um, I am going to assume it's okay. We'll continue to play a little bit. And if we notice any more issues, then we'll stop. Sound good? Forty one to forty two should be sun. Sun should be on one of these two pages, I think. Hold on. Right? Right? Hmm. I mean, I think we're gonna end soon anyhow. Uh. Because it is getting late. And we've been doing the thing. We've been doing it dang good. Okay. Uh. Do it! Throw down with my internet! <laughs> do it! Oh, wait. Do I have to. Do I have to do... No. I'm trying to figure out how we're supposed to do this now. Adjust the card to match the answer of each pictograph. Move the card over the pages of this book while looking through the card's lens to discover all the symbols. I think there's some spray paint in the break area. Oh, I've already gotten that, buddy. Listen. <laughs> um, okay. We are going to take the answers that we have here and Okay, we'll have her back. <laughs> That's a lot of hands. That's a dang lot of hands. Okay, we're gonna take this because this is the answer here, right? We have to match this answer on this, and then take this and use it on the page that it says we have here. So on 41 and 42, this might reveal something. I wish there was an easier way to get through all this. I assume I can just, like, hover it over. Okay. What other possible answers do we have? Um... No, this should- this is it. This is- this is it. Okay. On 41 or 42? <laughs> Can't catch that many hands. That's too many hands. Do I have to just like find the spot? This seems not correct. That seems very not correct. Just card to puzzle symbols, slide card over each page to find the four symbols left. Paint symbol from page nine on the ground, put book in the circle. Blood. Right, we do please, please. Can I... then is it... These are all... Twos. They're all this. So maybe... 
This is either 4142 or 2526. 4142. Consider? Can consider. Thought I was. Oh, ah! Okay. I understand. I think. No. Okay, so then I'm supposed to take. answers on this page which should be one one on the far left like that and that should be for page 2526 just gotta scan for it I guess I suppose. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Those are so fast and very bad. Four and eight. Four is... Down, eight is on the complete opposite side. Okay. I've just walked outside. Here? Here. Uh. Definitely has something to do with Oval Team that, that does help. You are correct. Okay. And then eight, sir. I know they want me to be quiet, but I'm not going to be quiet. You cannot make me. Jesus fucking shit. Horrible, mean, awful, miserable. <laughs> I hate it! Uh. Oh my god, okay. It is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion! Except I like Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion because the things are cute! This is probably what happened to the Devil's Carnival too. And this is why it tanked. This is why we didn't give a shit about- Oh! This thing should be able to hear my microphone and it can't, and that is very funny to me. Okay. Alright. Oh no! It's not- It's if I'm walking. I understand. Can't scare me now! I know that you're gonna jump out at me! Whoa. I do wanna buy the, like, full version of Spooky's Jump Scare at some point and play it, because I adore... I love Akuma Kira's stuff. Okay, get out of here, sir. This is fine. You don't scare me. I mean, you scare me a little bit, but, you know. There are worse people out there. Okay. There we go. Um. Okay, so we found one of them. I do want to. So we've got. I think I'm just gonna take this and scan through all the pages to see if we can find. Because I think this symbol is the last. The one that we found on the piece of paper that we took into the black light, I think, is gonna be the last symbol that we find because. The answers are on the 
following page? Hold on. Is there anything here? No, okay. I'm just gonna, we're gonna try and see if we can find that last symbol. I suppose I could like wait until we do the other ones. This is fine. Now that I understand what I'm doing, this is much better and I do like this. Okay, sun and teardrop are done. We need to find skull, which is two on the left. Two dots on the left. There we go. The skull is on 1516. So far, they've always been on the right-hand side. All right, so... These are horrible, and I hate it. That's fine. Which ones? One, three, and seven. One, three. We'll do three, one, and then seven. Hi, I saw you there. Three, three over here? Three's not in here, is it? No, three is here. No, this is one. Three is... Back there. But seven is over here. And I am making so much noise. I don't care. Um, there are a lot of spots for health kits. I'm no noticing, and I. Don't know that we're gonna need them because there's no penalty for clicking at the wrong time for that like QTE. So while it okay, <laughs> I like his little claps. <laughs> I do like Clown Man. He is kind of endearing. Just with how goofy he is. Hi. See, it's not that much of an issue. I'm sure that those will get harder as we go along, but like, it's fine. We're doing great, actually. So yeah, I think we'll finish this up and then probably call it there for stream. And it might put us at the four hour mark, assuming my internet is not a butthole. <laughs> All right, what are we doing now? Um, Diamond. Oh. This seems wrong. No, I understand. Okay. This is fine. Diamond is gonna be on 
I hear a man stomping around out there. Seven? Seven's easy. Yeah, get out of here, my guy. Seven is just over here. Here? Here. Found it! No laughing. None laugh. Get away from me. Lock. Again, I don't understand why I'm locking that. Okay, and then our final symbol is going to be the little square, and that's on 1920. And that is... Somewhere. Right there. How do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of things? Draw. Drop. How do you drop things? E to use an item. Okay, but I don't want to... Hmm... Can I... Um... Game... I want... I understand that my inventory is full, but like... I can't unfull my inventory. You won't let me unfull my inventory. Also, where am I supposed to do this? Oh. Just right here. And then we'll grab the book. We do it bad. <sighs> Sir, I don't want to just stare at your crotch. Many have tried to follow my intimations, to save themselves before my wretched host drank too deep of their blood. All have failed until you. <laughs> but you were never meant to be saved. I am grateful. You have freed me from this... this prison. For that, I give you the honor of bleeding me the mana to bring the second flood. Yeah, all right, Edgelord, let's I go. I waited so long <laughs> for the joy of immeasurable suffering. May your blood bring glorious... Pain. Sounds great! We did it! <laughs> Kinda like that. Once I understood how the puzzle functioned, then it was great and fine. It just took me a while to understand how the puzzle worked. I like that though.
<laughs> um, I do. I don't mind that it was easy enough to like get out of being stabbed by man, but oh, okay. Uh, but I didn't have to use a med kit at all. Except for the tutorial bit. <laughs> um, which seems incorrect. Hey! Alright. But we will be ending here. So. That's great. <laughs> I do like, uh... I did like the very first one, and I like that one that we played. The gallery one... I wasn't super sold on. Like I said, I think I think the issue is just that there felt all of the puzzles were so intense is not quite the right word, but they were very demanding, which is fine in and of itself, but there was also so much other stuff going on that it that having two two aspects of the game that are just really long and kind of tedious is sort of it detracts from the rest of it. Um, but that's okay. They can't all be winners. Um, but I did really like, I liked the, the premise of it, and I liked the visuals. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and set up a raid? Yeah. I think we're going to... Y'all wanna go say hi to Chew? <laughs> we could go say hi to Chew. Um, cause I think it's been a minute since we've raided over to them. And we love our friend. So, if you're gonna go to on the raid with us, there are the raid messages. The first one has global emotes on it. Second one has uh, our channel emotes. So if you're a sub, you can use that one. Um, until next time. I guess tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow with Dino Crisis, I believe. And maybe possibly finishing Dino Crisis. Which I'm super excited about. Uh, but yeah, until then. Have a good rest of your time zone. Take good dang care of yourselves. Yeah, Dinos! That is if you're still up for it, Fruity. <laughs> it's gonna touch base with you afterwards. Be like, hey, is that a... We still on? Um... But yeah, until then, have a good one. Take care of your dang selves. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.